the general election campaign is on and it's all about defining your opponent early on. Give me a sense of how President Barack Obama is defining Mitt Romney. Well, we saw that with the beginning this week of the Senate vote on the Buffett rule, Obama's attempt to make this campaign about income inequality and, and Mitt Romney being the, the epitome of income inequality, paying uh, an income tax rate of 15% on income of $42 million when you know, most secretaries pay 25 or 30% of their income. In other words, this, uh, this comment that he made this week about, you know, uh, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth and neither was my wife Michelle, is President Obama's way of, of kind of suggesting that here is my opponent who was born with a silver spoon in, in his mouth and, and somehow creating this division, you know, that, that uh, most Americans, middle class Americans, will not be able to connect with him. The question is, does that work in American politics? I mean, especially that that that's an argument that really mobilizes the Democratic base. But does it does it appeal to those people in the middle who aren't ideological, who decide vote, who decide elections, don't care really who's running the country? They have voted for lots of rich guys in the past. They're really concerned about bread and butter issues. They look at what's left at the end of the week um, from their paychecks if they have one, and they see that you know, uh, gas prices are rising. And so that makes them really amenable to an argument that says Obama is hostile to fossil fuels and has not done enough to really address the concerns of, of, of that white working class that ultimately will decide the election in places like Ohio.